What is going on, guys? JD from New York here, back with more WWE news and rumors, getting you ready not only for WWE Roadblock, or Cockblock, like I usually say, on Saturday, this coming Saturday on the WWE Network, but I'm also getting you guys ready with the biggest news stories to break right before WrestleMania 32. I'm calling it JD's Road to WrestleMania. Everything that I don't think is that important to be covered on Off The Script will be covered right here in separate videos to get you guys ready as quick as possible. If the news breaks, I will break it as soon as I get a chance. So make sure you guys tune into this channel for all the best WWE news and rumors, okay? And also, we're on our way today, hopefully, to hit 43,000 subscribers. We're on that road. We're on that fast lane ourselves. But it's not as cheesy as WWE fast lane. We're on the fast lane and on the road to WrestleMania to 50,000 subscribers. So as soon as WrestleMania 32 happens, we're going to put a huge dent in that. And I'm going to take care of that. I can't wait to get that done, man. It's been a milestone I've been looking at and just wanting to achieve. And hopefully we get that very soon. It's all thanks to you guys. So I appreciate all the continued love and support. Now. WrestleMania 32, you guys know what's going down with WrestleMania 32, but yesterday, WWE dropped news about WrestleMania 33, and have officially confirmed that WrestleMania 33 will be taking place from Orlando, Florida at the Citrus Bowl on Sunday, April 2nd, 2017. Official statements were going out. They had, they had a huge press conference. I'll leave you a video down below of John Cena giving his thoughts on WrestleMania coming back to Orlando. I got news on John Cena later on today, so make sure you keep right here on this channel. But as far as WrestleMania 33 goes, the biggest story that broke yesterday, and I didn't see many people covering this, is that WWE is rumored. I, I don't know if this is true or not, but more, more so I, I would lean towards this being true. WWE wants to put a physical Hall of Fame in place before WrestleMania 33 and that Hall of Fame will be homed in Orlando, Florida. One thing that is seemingly uh, known across all major sports is that each sport has a physical Hall of Fame. Fans of those sports have a chance to see their favorite player, fighter, etc. go into a place where they will be remembered forever. Many of them have a, have a physical place where they can see major memorabilia, whether it's a jersey, ball, etc., WWE is just as popular as any sport in the world today. And even if you don't watch wrestling, you know the name of WWE. You know, WWE is still incredibly popular. They're taking a lot to the social media side of things. And, you know, WWE just hit 10 million subs on YouTube. That's no easy feat. But WWE only drags in 3 million people plus... To watch Monday Night Raw. Where are those other 7 million fucking people watching Monday Night Raw? I mean, if WWE is so big on social media, why doesn't their ratings for their product on Monday night and their product for SmackDown on Thursday reflect that? And the WWE Network, it's only got 1.3, 1.4 million subscribers. Where are those 9 million other people that are subscribed to the YouTube channel but are not to the WWE Network. You see the big discrepancy there? That's a huge fucking discrepancy. And I never understood that. I don't know where... Someone was talking about that this week. I'm not sure where I heard it or, uh, you know... I know I heard it this week. I just don't remember where. I don't know if Solomonster was talking about that. I don't know if Steve Austin was talking about that. But it got me thinking. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. One of these guys is right. It made me really think how... How huge of a fucking gap that is. WWE may still be popular, not as popular, obviously, but the discrepancy between social media and their actual product is just mind-blowing. It really makes you think. But WWE has a Hall of Fame each and every year before WrestleMania, uh, like other major institutions, but they have yet to get a physical place where you can go see your favorite wrestler's memorabilia. WWE has wanted to make one, but they seemingly put it off for so long that the fans felt it would never happen. Now WWE has concrete plans to make it happen. AM2 News reports that WWE, I don't know if this is based out of Orlando, I'm not really sure, I never heard of them, 
But uh, AM2 News reports that WWE will be making the new physical Hall of Fame in Orlando, Florida. It will be replacing NBC City at the Universal City Walk, which is right next to Universal Studios theme park, making it a prime location for tourists and fans of the WWE. The place is set to include a restaurant, museum, and of course, the WWE Hall of Fame itself. That's fucking exciting. It will also be open by WrestleMania 33, which is a big deal for the company, giving them more fuel to promote WrestleMania 33 in Orlando. Wrestling memorabilia will be on display alongside cool profiles of inducted Hall of Fame members in the WWE. This WWE attraction will be similar to what the company did in WWE New York. You guys don't know, or most of you don't know, but I know, and if you live in New York, I'm sure you remember WWE New York. It's where the Hard Rock Cafe is right now in Times Square, and it was called The World by WWE, WWE New York, right in the center of Times Square. I used to go and view concerts there. They had the best fucking sound. Let me tell you, bro. They, they had the best fucking sound for concerts. I was, I was very saddened when that place closed down. I never got a chance to eat there. I, rem I think I went to go see Deicide there. You know, don't, don't quote me on that. And I don't, I don't listen to Deicide. Fucking crazy death metal band. Um, I, I could have swore I went to go see Deicide and Morbid Angel there. Really. Years ago. I, I don't know if it was those bands, but I, I know they were in Times Square. And I, I'm assuming it happened that the world... It might have been Six Feet Under. I don't know. But the, the moral of the story is that WWE The World or WWE New York was fucking great. And I don't know why it closed down. You know, it, it, I didn't get to eat there. I know WWE did a few segments there before shows and pay-per-views. And they had live feeds there. I think some of the old diva searches happened there. It was a great place to be, right in the center of Times Square. And WWE eventually closed that down. And here we go. I didn't even, I didn't even know. The report goes on to uh, say why it closed down. Of course, this was a failed venture that closed in 2003. And yes, goons, my fucking ringtone is Apollo Crews. Get over it. I like that fucking theme song. Um, I usually switch it from Finn Balor to Sami Zayn to Apollo Crews. Those are my three favorite themes in NXT. So get your laughing out of the way now. I like that theme. On with the fucking news report. Jesus Christ. Of course, this was a failed venture that closed in 2003 due to costs being too high to remain open. Duh. You know, being in Times Square, obviously that would be the main reason. It was located in a great position in Times Square. WWE New York was a risky venture for WWE to begin with, but to be fair to the company, it did not have what it plans to have here. Plus, with it being a, in a popular tourist area for most of the year, it will be in a better location than New York, where there is a high tourist count, but not nearly as much as Orlando seems to get, thanks to families enjoying the park year-round. WWE fans will surely flock to the arena, or the area, I should say. They will surely flock to the area during WrestleMania week. Next week, due to the locate, or next year, due to the location for WrestleMania 33, now being confirmed to be Orlando. The place might see a lot of traffic in the spring and summer, as well as some peak times. However, it is doubtful WWE can make it work. The Baseball Hall of Fame seems to work because anything costly does not come onto them, but rather others. They have the memorabilia and other player material on display, and that's pretty much it. There is really no cost in that for WWE, as the material is already owned by the company. As for the prices of food and drink at that restaurant that is said to be opening, and the prices that a restaurant provides, it just doesn't seem smart for this to be included, knowing how WWE New York went down. The good thing for WWE is that this is near where WWE tapes the NXT shows, they also have the WWE Performance Center nearby. WWE is doing tours, or has been doing tours, at the Performance Center. And that may get larger with more people near the area at certain times of the year. WWE loves Orlando, and they have done a heck of a lot in Florida as a whole as well. WWE has a good relationship with the state officials as well as Orlando City officials. That being said, it's not surprising that they want to put as much as they can in the area. It seems like WWE could continue to make Orlando a home for years to come. The Hall of Fame finally having a concrete place would be a great way and a great way for fans. 
uh, you know, to just go experience WWE, and it certainly makes the fans very, very excited and very happy. So that is the news on a WWE Physical Hall of Fame. Um, I think it's a great idea. I, you know, I, I love Florida. I've been to Florida a few times in my in my day, and um, I had, my, you know, my grandpa back, lived back, uh, you know, my on my dad's side. He lived down there, and we went to the Florida Keys. You know, obviously, I went to Miami a few years back for my best friend's uh you know, wedding, and we, we chilled in Miami, we drank in Miami, partied in Miami, it was a fucking great time, I just love the atmosphere in Miami, you know, I, I love the, just the feel of being down there, you know, so, you know, if I get a chance one of these years to go to a WrestleMania, I, I hope I, I have enough, and I can just do this full time, and, you know, have enough to fund myself, and go to these things, and uh, experience a WrestleMania, and visit NXT, and visit the Hall of Fame, and just go on vacation, doing this full-time, that's what my fucking dream is, man, that's what I'm working so fucking hard for, to do these things that I want to do that I can't physically do right now with my shit fucking job in New York and the fucking hours that I work, it sucks, so to see WWE having concrete plans for something that we know is important to them, it not only it, it makes the company look legitimate, it gives the Hall of Fame legitimacy, you know, not only is it only going to be a WWE Network special and these guys don't have a place to have their, their careers idolized and memorialized. Now, everything that we see with the WWE Hall of Fame announcements, everything that you see there will be in the physical Hall of Fame. You know, these guys will be memorialized and idolized and remembered forever in a physical place where you can go see Sting and the Big Boss Man and all these guys, you know, Macho Man, Hogan, The Warrior, etc., etc., Andre the Giant. WWE, I know for a fact, they, like the report says, they own everything. And who the fuck knows what they got in their warehouse from back in the day, from everything that they've been through. All that can be on display in the Hall of Fame. And I think that's a great fucking thing, not only for the WWE, but for the fans itself to see all those memories brought back to life. And we can remember when things were fucking awesome, remember our childhood, etc., etc. I think this is a great thing for WWE, and I hope that this really, really um, is true, and all this is constructed before WrestleMania 33. It's going to make next year's WrestleMania unbelievable. So I can't wait to see what comes of this, and if I hear anything else on the Hall of Fame as it is being constructed and a, a, and a date when it's going to open and th when things are going to be finalized, I will definitely let you, go, you guys know right here on the channel. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. If you enjoyed the fucking ringtone, for Apollo Cruz, make sure you hit that thumbs up, man. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe for more WWE content throughout the week, plus off the script every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as well as every Sunday on iTunes, Audio Boom, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean. Link for that, if you missed that, down below in the description, as well as everything else I did throughout the week. I'm JD. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. I got another video going up later about John Cena not being at WrestleMania 32. And that comes from the mouth of the man himself. I'll talk to you guys later.